מתקדמים. I don't know if this is working. Yes, it is working the sound. So we are going to uh, start with a day week number uh, three. In this case, we are going to begin with that um, with that information that we have for the week number three. Remember that yesterday was at the end of the week number two. And now we are going to have four days in which we are going to talk about the topics that we are going to develop on week number three. So in this case, we are going to begin with that part. Uh, remember that uh, this week we are going to end on Friday because we are like having five days in this week. So this is like the beginning of the week. So we are going to start with uh, the topics that we are going to develop. And Tonight, we are going to see a topic related to wishes. We are going to talk about wishes. Uh, and also we can call it desires. We are going to talk about desires, wishes, and regrets in that. Uh, give me a moment. I will uh, change the connection because I think it's not going to work. So give me a second. Okay, it is supposed that I am a, in a new connection, so I hope that is not going to, to end the session again. So I was telling you that we are going to talk about wishes, uh, desires, and regrets. And that is not just a topic in which we are going to tell that I wish something that I don't have. In this case, it is like uh, a grammar topic so in that case, we are going to see some structures. We are going to talk about um, how can we use different verbs and how to create some um, sentences in which we are expressing that ideas. And in this case, we're going to have like categories or, um, or different uh, types of wishes and how to create them. Because in that case, when we are talking about these kind of topics, we have like two different things. One is wish something in present that is something that I just, I just want in that case. But we are going to have another category that is the wishes of the past. And in that case, it's like, I want to change something from my past, but. I don't have the opportunity right now. Because in that case, it's something that ends in the past. Because it's in that case, we are talking about also the actions that happen in the past and they have a finish in that time. So in that case, we just wish or um, have a desire about that situation. But we are going to see what is this topic about because I think that we have like, a couple of participants and we are going to start because it is time right now. So we are going to talk about wishes and I'm going to use again this document because I don't want to share, uh, I mean, I don't want to lose the connection that I have because it is very, very bad. But 
we have this document in which I'm going to write all the information that we need for this topic. And then we are going to have that information on the document in Google Docs. So don't worry, it's, it's the same thing. So we have here that the topic for today is wishes. So we are going to see what is this topic about, and then we are going to develop all the information and the structures that we have for this um, topic. So the first thing that we are going to see is, let me take this. It's like a general explanation about um, what is a wish or what is a desire or something like that. So in that case, we can say that uh, to work hard is better than to wish, but to wish is far better than uh, to despair. I still never wish the past change, it had gone forever. What is done is done and it will never be undone. Básicamente vamos a ver este tema en el cual nosotros deseamos que algo sea diferente. ¿Cómo podemos expresar esas ideas eh, con estas estructuras? Porque en este caso no simplemente vamos a hablar de deseos, sino que también vamos a estructurar oraciones en las cuales vamos a representar esas ideas. So in that case, pensamos cosas del pasado que nos gustaría haber cambiado o haber hecho diferente, but in this case, they are not like that because we are in the present. So, for example, just for the beginning, because I'm going to explain all the structures with examples and a lot of things. When we have this kind of sentence, in this case, it's wish about the present. We have this sentence. I am poor, I am poor. This is my example, I am poor, soy pobre. In that case, we are saying that uh, we are poor. But when we are expressing wishes, we can change a little bit that information and we are going to say, in that case, expressing a wish is for something to be different from uh, what it's, it actually is. So in that case, we can change that sentence. I am poor for, I wish I were not poor. So it's, a uh, longer sentence in this case is a longer and we have different like elements here that we are going to uh, explain in depth in this uh, session. Tenemos esas dos oraciones. La primera es una oración en el presente. Estamos hablando del presente. Estamos diciendo que somos pobres, que no tenemos eh, solvencia económica. Y en el segundo estamos deseando no serlo. I wish I were not poor. Que sería no ser pobre. So, those elements that we have here in yellow are the elements that we are going to um, study today. And also we are going to explain how to create that kind of sentences. And also we are going to have some e examples in which we are going to have like, a sentence and also we are going to explain what is the meaning or the real meaning that we have for that kind of sentences. So we are going to begin with the explanation and also we are going to see some uh, formulas to create this kind of sentence. And maybe you can ask uh, why we are using like verbs in past because we are talking about the present, but in this case, that is the, um, the construction of this uh, topic in which we are going to use some verbs in past. So we are going to begin with um, the general explanation of the construction 
of the expression with wish. That the base, the base of this uh, topic is this one. I wish. Que nosotros lo podemos traducir como yo deseo. En ese caso sería yo deseo. Y como estamos hablando de cosas que nosotros queremos cambiar, it's like uh, understandable that we are going to use something like that. So, in that case, something is missing. We wish for it. Something didn't go the way we wanted. We wish it had. So in that case is having a, a strong desire of changing. So we can say that we can wish for something to happen now, even if it is improbable. So in that case, we can wish about something that is not going to happen, but it is something very natural that we have that kind of ideas. So we can wish for something even if it is improbable. And we have like some examples. We have here four examples. We have the number one. I wish I had more look. I wish I had, I mean, it is not writing. I wish I had more look. I wish I had more look because in the in the present, I am not lucky enough and I need to have more look. Then in the second one, I wish I had in this case it is to separate. I wish I had fewer problems. Because uh, in the reality I have a lot of problems. So in that case, I am desiring something about having fewer problems. I don't want to have a lot of problems, but I have it in reality. So in this case, I am just wishing something. Then we have example number three. And in this case, I wish I had better skin. Because maybe I have some problems on my skin. I have something, I don't have a perfect skin like the one that I, that I am wishing to have. So in that case, I am wishing to have a better skin because in that case or in this moment, I am having some troubles with my skin and I have something on it that I don't want to have. And in the last one, I'm going to uh, change some words because, or, I mean, I, I'm going to write two, um, two sentences of the same one because in this case, I'm going to end at the ending because it says, I wish I had a boyfriend. I wish I had a boyfriend. But also I can say, I wish, I had a girlfriend. So it is like this. Okay, at this point, it is not like 
we have a lot of information about this topic because in this case, we're just seeing some example. Para, para este tema, básicamente, eh, estamos hablando de deseos. Nosotros lo vemos como, ah, solo voy a hablar de, lo, de las cosas que yo deseo que cambien o que me gustaría que cambiaran. Pero no es simplemente así, sino que vamos a ver las estructuras y cómo formarlas. En este caso, ya tenemos algunos elementos que hemos visto. In this case, we have this object. Then we have wish. That is the main thing that we are going to use for these kind of sentences. Then if you can see, we have another subject that is a second subject. And that second subject has a a verb in past. That is the thing. We are going to have two subjects in the same sentence. Then we are going to have a, a verb in past. And then we are going to have like the complement that we are going to use for that a sentence. That is the situation that we are wishing. Así que vamos a tener dos sujetos en este caso. Eh, uno es con el yo deseo y el otro es el que vamos a utilizar con el verbo en pasado. Luego le vamos a agregar lo que es la situación de la que nosotros estamos deseando que cambie. Como el hecho de desearía ten, haber tenido o desearía tener, in that case, like, is in past, haber tenido más suerte. Or I wish I had fewer problems. So in that case, we are going to have like two subjects, one with wish and the other one is with the verb in past. So we are going to continue. In the, in the phrase, I wish I had, you can notice that had is in the past simple form of the verb to have. You can use other verbs with I wish. And we are going to see some example of those um, verbs that we can use with the, this expression. Tell me, Luis. In this case, we can use verbs in present or future or only in past. Okay, in this case, when you are going to use um, this structure, you are going to use like the verb in, in this case, because it is present, you are going to use verb in past. Siempre que vayamos a utilizar el wish, tenemos que eh, saltarnos un tiempo hacia atrás. Dependiendo del, del tiempo que estemos utilizando para nuestra oración, el segundo o el verbo que vamos a utilizar con nuestro segundo sujeto 
va a ser un tiempo atrás. Todos van a ir hacia atrás. Solo en el futuro es diferente porque en ese caso, pues, no vamos a hacerlo de esa manera. Ya lo vamos a ir viendo más adelante cómo vamos a hacer con el futuro. Pero en este caso, si yo estoy hablando de presente, I'm not going to use present eh, verbs. I'm going to use past because I am moving forward. And, I, I mean, but word, and I'm going to use verbs in past when I am using um, present uh, time in this case for my phrases. So in that case, we are going to back one time, un tiempo atrás. Ya lo vamos a ir viendo un poco más detallado porque sí es un poco complicado en ese sentido porque tenemos que movernos un tiempo atrás del que estamos utilizando en nuestra oración. So en este caso, si es tiempo presente para mi oración, no voy a utilizar un verbo en presente, tengo que utilizar un verbo en pasado. Y si es en pasado, ya vamos a ir viendo qué tiempo es el que vamos a utilizar, o sea, el tiempo que esté detrás del que nosotros tenemos. But we are going to see that, um, that information, because in that case is kind of, of tricky, and we need to know um, what are the, the times that we have, or the Yes, the, the time that we have in that case, and what are the, um, the structures that we are going to use for each one. So in that case, present time, we are going to use past and like that. But we are not going to use in this case um, future because in that case, it is another structure, not this one. So we are going back, nor front. Okay, so for now we use uh, we use only past yes. in these cases. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, we are using the sentence in present. We are talking about a situation in present, but we are going to use our um, our verb in past. Then we are going to see the past time. In that case, we are going to talk about the past. Uh, of regrets in past, and we are going to see what are the verbs that we are going to use. So in this case, right now, we are just going to use past, simple past in this case. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Then we have another one. I wish I could for a Bugatti. I wish I could. So in this case, it is not just like we are going to use uh, the verb had. In this case, we can use all the verbs that we um, that we can imagine for this kind of a structure. So in that case, we have these four examples. I wish I spoke Mandarin. I wish I played the piano. I wish I could afford a Bugatti. And I wish I were a successful artist. In this case, when we're expressing our ideas, our desires in present time, for example, for the things that I have right now, or things that I don't feel like uh, that I, I need or something like that, we are going to use the verb in past. In this case, it's the simple past. And we are going to see what is the form that we are going to use or the formula that we can use to create this kind of sentences. And in this case, we have like all the information that we need for this structure, because we have the first subject, then we have wish or wishes in the case that we are using the third person. Then we have the second subject and the past simple. And it says that wish, the past simple is used to express wishes about the present. We use a standard present simple conjugation with ES for he, she, and it, and do 
or does as well as the negative don't and doesn't followed by the statement in the past tense. In that case, because we are using the present time, uh, we are going to complete the rules that we have for the third person. In that case, we are going to use the ES at the end of the verbs. And then we are going to complete the part of the verb in past. And then we are going to write a complement. En este caso, tenemos, y ya lo hemos dicho anteriormente, el primer sujeto, y vamos a utilizar wish, que es el, el verbo principal en este caso. I wish, you wish, she wishes, in that case. Vamos a agregarle ES cuando ya sea tercera persona del singular, porque es lo normal. Luego tenemos nuestro segundo sujeto y tenemos el verbo en pasado. En ese caso, luego vamos a agregar nuestro complemento para esa parte. So I'm going to write the form and we are going to see the explanation also or the general explanation about this form. Following this structure, I can make my sentences because in that case, I know that I'm going to use uh, some examples. I mean, some subjects. In that case, I wish I, I had more money. For example, I wish I had more money. Or you wish you were my classmate. Or uh, she wishes she... She had more clothes. But we are going to write like some examples to see um, the application of this form. So in that case, we can see the um, structure we have here, and we are going to change the colors. This one is the first uh, subject. In this case, I'm going to have it in this color. So here we have the first subject. Then we have a wish that we are going to change for this one. And we have here wish. And wishes. Then we have the second subject that in this case we're going to change and we are going to have this color. Here we have the second subject. Then we have the past simple in this case. We're going to have it in red, this one.
And then we have the complement of the sentence. That is the thing that I wish to have or to change. So in that case, we have the elements that we need for this kind of sentence. In this case, when you are uh, talking about a present using past um, verbs, it is not complicated because you know that in that case, you are going to use wish and then a past a verb. For this kind of topic, it is necessary that you have your list of verbs because you are going to need it. So in that case, if you have that list, you can use to create this kind of sentences because in that case, you need to know what are the different verbs in past. Tell me, Victoria. Teacher, I have a question. Why we are going to use very past simple with which if I, if I speak in present, right? Yes, in this case, when you are speaking in present. Oh, but why? Why are you going to use wish? I mean, you need to know why uh, you can use these expressions in present? Yes, um, no, 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 the past simple, why are you going to use in the expression wish? Okay. Let me explain this thing. I know that is kind of uh, confusing in this case, but when we are using wish, is to talk about something that we want to change. In this case, I am having a bad day. And I said, I wish I had a better day. Yo deseo a poder haber tenido un mejor día. Es como en, eh, decir, yo quisiera haber hecho algo o quisiera cambiar esa situación, pero no se puede porque es un deseo, es algo que no va a pasar. En este caso yo no puedo decir, yo quiero tener un mejor día. Es, I want to have a better day. Quiero tener un mejor día y es una situación diferente. En este caso, yo deseo que pasara algo diferente, que cambiara la situación. Y en ese caso, we have to use past to express that things in present. I know that I am talking in present. I know that I am having this action in present, but to make it uh, happen or to give that expression or to explain what is the thing that I want to change, I need to use the past. Desearía haber estudiado después, inmediatamente después del examen. Desearía haber estudiado más. Why? Because I know that I am not going to have good grades. Es como esas expresiones. Me hubiera gustado uh, haber hecho algo más. Me hubiera gustado estudiar más. Uh, deseo haber comprado esa camisa justo en el momento que ya pasó no es estamos hablando de un pasado extremadamente lejos sino en ese momento yo lo estoy diciendo o sea si sí pasó la situación por ejemplo eh, pero me hubiera gustado cambiar ciertas cositas para que sucediera because in that case I am not feeling good with the situation so in that case is a present situation because I am living that situation in the moment, but I am expressing that change of something that I didn't do in the past. Es algo que no completé, algo que no hice porque pensé, creí, sentí que no iba a ser necesario. Entonces, en, en el caso de estudiar para el examen, yo estudié, pero hubiera deseado estudiar más. Eh, in el caso de desearía haber tenido más dinero, because I need to buy something. I need to, I don't know, a medicine, a, a, a shirt, a pair of shoes or something like that. But I don't have money. I don't have that thing that I am wishing to have. In ese caso, solo es para expresar un cambio. 
en la situación que estamos viviendo. No vamos a cambiar nada porque obviamente la situación no va a cambiar, pero es solo para expresar qué queremos cambiar de la situación. Por eso es que utilizamos el pasado en el segundo, en el segundo sujeto. Porque si yo dijera, I, um, in past, I didn't study for the exam. Yo no estudié para el examen. That's uh, something true. I didn't uh, study for the exam. But I will do it in, in the next one. Pero lo voy a hacer en el siguiente. Es una expresión en futuro. Y no estoy cambiando nada. No estoy deseando que cambie la situación. I'm just talking. And in this case, it's just to wish to change something. And that's why it said that uh, when we use wish plus the past simple is used to express wishes about the present. Estamos hablando de los deseos de en el presente. Suena raro porque estamos utilizando algunos verbos en pasado, pero nos ayuda para expresarnos en presente. Cuando estemos en pasado, vamos a ver cuál es el que nos va a ayudar a hablar sobre esas cosas y no son verbos en presente. But in this case, it is like constructed like this to express wishes in present. In this case, it is not a regret. No nos estamos quejando en sí de, o no nos arrepentimos, mejor dicho, no nos arrepentimos de la situación, sino que nos hubiera gustado cambiarla un poco. But when we are talking about wishes in past, that is a regret, porque ahí sí lo estamos sintiendo porque nos gustaría que hubiera sido diferente. So in this case, it's just to express something in present, but we are going to use the past for the situation, but it is not related to the past itself. So no estamos hablando en realidad del pasado, sino de un deseo en el presente que podría haberse cambiado por alguna situación. So that's why we are using wish and past. Tell me, Juan. Yes, Juan, tell me. Juan, you have your, your hand raised, so tell me, I am listening. Okay, teacher. Tell me. Uh, some example using the past, or it can be, I wish I had having more money to buy a house, for example. Yes, in that case, you can use I had had. It's correct, in that case, in past. Mm -hmm. I have, okay, but you are talking about when we're going to use uh, the past. Uh, the sentences ha, uh, will have a other form, but I like to uh, to know how how uh, how I can uh, how I can say I wish I had more money, but using the past, okay. using the past, it can be I wish I had. I have having more money to buy uh, cars, for example. Okay, in that case, when you are using the past with that sentence, I wish I had had more money. In that case, you are not going to use the ing because in that case, it is a different uh, construction. But for the, um, the expression in past, because we are going to see more examples about the past, in that case, you are going to use the past perfect. That is the uh, structure that you are going to use, the past perfect. In that case, um, for example, you can say, I wish I had a state. In that case, you have like two, um, two past verbs in which you are going to express the things that you uh, are regretting, but you are not going to use the ing because in that case, it is not related to that uh, situation. In that, case, in, in that case, you are going to use the past perfect form of the verb. And in that case, 
also you are going to use mm, the I wish is always the same. You are not going to change and you are not going to say I wish it. So in that case is I wish I had um, gone because in that case is the, um, the past perfect form. I had gone to the cinema last night. So in that case, you're not going to use the ING. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know that in this case, is, or in this moment, we are like, I don't understand anything because it is complicated. And I know that it is complicated, but don't worry. We are going to have two sessions today and tomorrow to explain that topic. Now I am just using the uh, structures, but tomorrow I will have, or I will bring some examples because it's better in that way. Voy a traer o les voy a mostrar esta información del I wish con ejemplos. And with that uh, information, I will explain the tenses that we are going to use for every, um, we can say for every tense. Vamos a ver todos los tiempos, porque no simplemente es presente y pasado, sino que también vamos a utilizar frases de I wish con el futuro, but it's something different. Vamos a ver todas esas estructuras, cómo las vamos a utilizar con los diferentes tiempos que tenemos in present and in past, cuáles son los verbos que vamos a utilizar y qué expresa cada uno de ellos, porque no solamente es un deseo o un, eh, o un regret, sino que también tiene algo en específico. But we are going to see just the structure today and don't worry, we are going to complete the information tomorrow with uh, more examples and more explanation. In that case, we are going to have like a very uh, deep explanation of the I wish because I know that is kind of complicated um, for mm, in this case for the use of the of the tenses and also the meaning of the sentences that we are creating with this structure. But don't worry, don't don't think that you are not going to uh, learn that part. You are going to do it, but in this case we are going to begin with this structure or the strong part in this case, because today we are going to use just the more boring part, we can say, it, but tomorrow we are going to complete the, uh, the understanding of this, this topic. Así que no se preocupen. Oh, vamos a ver solo las estructuras de, eh, de estas oraciones, las formas y algunos ejemplos, y ya luego eh, vamos a ver más sobre ellos, cuál es el significado que le podemos dar, cuál es el verbo específico o el tiempo que podemos utilizar para ellos y qué queremos expresar con esas eh, oraciones. So, don't worry and, and don't feel like uh, overwhelmed with this information because today we are going to do the strong part and tomorrow we are going to, to do the easy part, that is to create sentences and examples with that information. So in that case, we have the present part. And then it says that uh, we are going to see. Another example. In this case, we can use this structure with questions also. We are going to see more examples. For example, the, uh, we have another one. That is, she wishes she had more shoes. In that case, she is dressing up because she has a party. But in the moment that she puts the dress, she is thinking about the shoes that she can use in that situation. But she doesn't have any other pay of shoes. So in that moment, she said, I wish I had more shoes because I don't have, uh, the, um, we can say a black pair of shoes. 
en ese momento podemos decir eso cuando estamos teniendo una situación como esa. Me visto para la fiesta, busco unos zapatos específicos de un color específico, pero no los tengo. So in that case, I am saying, I wish I had more shoes. Desearía tener o haber tenido más zapatos para esta ocasión. But I am not going to change anything. I am just going to use another pair of shoes. Then we have a question. Do you wish you had more money? Do you wish you had more money? ¿Desearías haber tenido más dinero in that case? Maybe yes, maybe not. We don't know. Another question. Does he wish he live in Lisbon? Then we have a negative one. They don't wish they were teachers. They don't wish they were not teachers. And another one. Petra doesn't wish she went to work. Petra doesn't wish she went to work. So, Now, we are going to have the uh, structure for the past um, sentences. So we are going to see what is the structure and what is the tense that we are going to use for past. For example, it says that it is common to use this or to speak about the past with the phrase, I wish I had had, or I wish I had done, or I wish I had gone, or I wish I had played. Because in that case is the use of the past perfect. And we have some examples. <clears throat> I 
I wish I had had more free time on my business trip last week. Next one, I wish I had stayed in New York longer. I wish I had bought that car. And the last one, I wish I had gone to the cinema last night. And we have here the form. And we have again the first subject. Then we have wish or wishes. Then we have the second, the second subject plus the past perfect. And it says that in this case, um, the first part of the sentence is conjugated in the present because a person now wishes that something different had happened in the past. As with the present form, we use a standard present simple conjugation with ES. For he, she, and it, to and does, as well as the negative done doesn't follow by the statement in the past tense. So in that case, it is like the same with the first one, but the difference here is that we are not going to use the simple past. In this case, we are going to use the past perfect because in that case, we are going to use um, another, another chance to express that ideas. So in that case, you know that uh, in past perfect, you are going to use this kind of a structure in which you have the uh, subject in this case, that is the second subject that you are going to use. Then you have your auxiliary verb that in this case, the auxiliary verb is had, and then you are going to use the past eh, form of the verb. Para construir lo que es el pasado perfecto, utilizamos el auxiliar, que en este caso nuestro auxiliar va a ser el had, con el verbo en pasado. Van juntos. Had plus the verb in past, y ahí construimos el past perfect. For example, eh, I had studied, in that case, had, then studied in past. You had visited, in that case, also in past. So that is the construction of the past perfect. Had plus the verb in past. So in that case, we are going to use it like that in, in this kind of sentences when we are using the past. Cuando estemos utilizando el pasado eh, o expresando eh, wishes in past, vamos a utilizar verbos que vayan un salto hacia atrás, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que vamos a utilizar tenses que van hacia atrás. En este caso es el past perfect, el que le sigue, o sea, el, el anterior, 
y con ese vamos a estar trabajando. Todas las, eh, las oraciones con I wish, todo esto va un salto hacia atrás. Pero lo vamos a ver. Eh, tomorrow we are going to see all that steps eh, backwards with the tenses. We are going to see what are the tenses that we are going to use for each sentence that we can create. In this case, maybe past, past perfect, and all of the things, or present. And also, we are going to have like uh, some examples in which we are going to express that idea. So it is not like we are going to have this topic like this because it is not completed and we don't have enough information for it. So we are going to see the tenses. We are going like to remember what are the specific structures for the different tenses that we have. Vamos a ver cuáles son como las estructuras que tiene cada tiempo. Por ejemplo, si tenemos en el presente, um, presente simple, presente perfecto, and all of the things. ¿Cuál es la estructura que utilizamos? ¿Cómo utilizamos los verbos en, esa, en ese tense? ¿Y cómo lo vamos a poner en práctica con estas oraciones? Eso es lo que vamos a ir viendo mañana, recordando los tenses and also constructing some uh, sentences in which we are going to put into practice the information about the I wish. And also we are going to see some, we can say auxiliaries, Yes, we can say auxiliaries to express wishes or to use these, uh, these expressions in future because we are going to see that it works in future, but we are not going to use like uh, verbs like this. They are like very specific with that part. So we are going to see that construction too. So tomorrow we are going to have more information, more examples, and we are going to complete this information, this very, very <laughs> difficult information, but we are going to see more examples tomorrow. And I guess tomorrow you will have clear ideas about this topic. So we are going to see each other tomorrow because it's time to end the session. And we are going to see each other in the session number two of the week number three because today is week number three the beginning of the week number three and we are going to continue with this topic and with the examples of them so we are going to end the session right now and i wish you have in this case it's not the same structure but i hope you have a really good night so we are going to see each other tomorrow bye bye okay thank you Bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.